Hi guys, welcome back to Iconic London's YouTube channel and Grace B Makeup, it is so nice to be back. So today I'm going to walk you through their All Angles brush set to help guide you through what's best to use for what product. So I have said it before and I'll say it again because it is so worth knowing that Iconic is completely cruelty free and vegan. You get 12 brushes inside that cover all the face and the eyes and it comes in this gorgeous little case which is actually a really nice size for travelling or to keep all of your essentials in. So these are all the brushes inside and you can get your hands on it for £80. The quality is insane. I've used mine and washed mine over and over and over again. You don't get those annoying shedding bristles and they're just super soft on the skin. So here I've got all of the base brushes. So as you can see, they vary from super fluffy and big into more of like the sort of precise application brushes. So this brush here, I would recommend for all of your liquid base products. So anything from foundation, your tinted moisturizers, uh, liquid bronzers and blushes, as you know, Iconic have the most amazing ones of them. This one is the biggest of the family and I would recommend this for your setting powders, your bronzers, your blushes, anything that is a powder base. I tend to use this brush for kind of sweeping in product and just dusting it all over my face where I don't want really specific application. So brush number three it looks quite similar to the first one that I showed you but it's got this angle to it so it's really good at pushing underneath the hollows of those cheeks and really sculpting the cheekbones with either your liquid or your powders. So the next one is what we like to call a stippling brush. As you can see, they're super long bristles with shorter ones inside and they're quite spaced out, they're not too dense. So this is really nice to be able to create um, a super sheer coverage, great for your radiance boosters, um, just really quick in the morning on the go and it gives you that sort of dose of colour without adding too much coverage. This one is so so nice for setting on the under eye. I like to just dip into my powder and then just really lightly push it in underneath the eye. The last face brush is this one and it's perfect for just adding that little precise highlight to the cheekbones, on the nose, you can add to the forehead if you like to be me and an iced glazed donut. <laughs> this is the perfect brush. So the eye brushes have got you covered for a full eye look. So you've got blending brushes and buffing brushes covered and you've also got liner brushes. So the biggest of the eye brushes I like to use kind of buffing in my eye primer so concealer anything like that. It's also great to use on the skin if you want to cover any blemishes. So this is the buffing and blending brush. Now I'm just going to put it next to the one that I just spoke about so you can see for difference in the density and size. This one is really nice to buff in that transition shade. You can use this with either liquid or a powder. Shade and blend brush, I like to call this. This is great for kind of like packing on color, smoking out the lash line, making something look a little bit more smudgy, but it's not so big that it'll just go everywhere. It's a little bit more precise for those darker shades. So I would use this one specifically for either smudging out something like a coal liner, or you can also use it for your under eye brush if you don't want it to be too blown out. And this also doubles up as a lip brush so you can either use it to blend in your lipstick or buff out your liner. So the flat definer is up next. Now this one is really good for like a multi-use brush. You can either create like a super soft wing. It's also a really nice fit for carving out underneath the eyebrow with your concealer. And I also really like it to sharpen up my lip products as well, just around the outsides. So last but not least is this teeny tiny angled brush. So this is obviously amazing for your wing liner as well. And also really nice if you like that sort of highlight look through your eyebrows to so dip it into your pomade and just give it a little flick through and it'll create hair like strokes. So there you have it guys, that is a quick breakdown of the best ways to use Iconic London's All Angles brush set. So make sure you head over to the Iconic London website where you can find this and all of their other goodies. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon.